Hello and welcome back to another episode of Math with Sun. Today we are going to be condensing logs, which is a very essential skill for solving the harder log problems. And there's only three rules you need to know. If you have two logs, first off, they have to be the same base. So this time they're both a base of two, but they can be anything as long as they're the same. If there is a plus sign in between them, that means you multiply them to condense them into one log. So we're going to end up with one log, base two. And we have to multiply these two things together. Well, if we multiplied x with x plus 3, you would distribute and get x squared plus 3x. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the condensed form of that log. So if there's a plus in between, you multiply. If there is a minus in between, that would mean that you would not multiply, but divide. So we got log base 3 of 4 minus log base 3 of 8 both of them are log base 3. We are going to condense them into one log, and we're going to have 4 divided by 8 rather than 4 multiplied by 8. Now, sometimes you're going to have to either simplify or evaluate these. Um, log 3 of 4 over 8 is the same thing as saying log 3 of 1 half. Okay? Now, if you notice that there's some sort of correlation between 3 and 1 half, then you could evaluate it. For instance, if this said log base 3 of 9 you probably could do something. But log 3 of 1 half can't really do anything. In most cases, you can't evaluate these, at least not without a calculator. All right? So plus in between, multiply. Minus in between, divide. The only other thing you have to know is what to do if there is a number in front of a log. And that could be in front of the first log or in front of many of the logs. And that is dealt with by taking that and making it a squared. You have to do that First, you can't multiply the x and the 4 first until you've dealt with the 2. So right now, we have log of x squared plus log of 4. Now we can multiply them together to get a single log of 4x squared because 4 times x squared is, is just 4x squared. Okay? We got a few more. Uh, this next one looks like it's a lot harder, uh, and I'm not going to lie. Uh, it's not any harder at all. Uh, it looks it, but it's not. Everything that is positive or a plus is going to end up on the top of the fraction versus everything that's a minus is going to be divided and end up on the bottom of the fraction. So we are going to end up multiplying everything that had a plus sign. So that would be multiplying 2 and 3 and x. Well, if we multiply 2 times 3, you get 6. And then multiply with an x, you end up with just 6x on the top of the fraction. And everything that was negative, we're going to divide and end up on the bottom of the fraction. If there were multiple things there, we would divide and multiply them together. Well, here we have a 4 and a y that are both attached to a negative log. So they're both going to end up on the bottom of the fraction and both going to be multiplying together on the bottom of the fraction. And 4 times y is just 4y. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the answer to that one. I got one more, just one more. There is a video on taking this in reverse. So this is condensing going from a lot to one, which is normally more useful. But sometimes you have to take this first guy and turn it into this long mess. So we're going to do that in a different video because I like separating things out. Condense. This one. Last one. Uh, first off, minus. So we're going to end up dividing by the three. A lot of people might think that this is already condensed, this 2 divided by 2, but notice how it's not 5 over 2, it's the entire log divided by 2, which is a trick. It is a trick because that's really the same thing as saying 1 half of the log 2 of 5. Okay, so in, if you write it as the 1 half here, then you're far more likely to realize that this is going to be an exponent that I have to deal with. Parentheses aren't necessary, by the way. They're just for show. Uh, if there's a 1 half here, just like the last problem, we have to make it an exponent. And if we do that, we get log 2, 5 to the 1 half power, log 2 of x, and minus log 2 of 3. Now, if there was a 5 to the 1 half power, if it actually did something, like uh, if it was 5 squared, you should write 25. All right, so if that was 5 squared, write 25. 5 to the 1 half power, you could, you could write as the square root of 5. Maybe we'll do that to be fancy. Uh, we're going to multiply 5 and the x together, which is nothing really crazy. That would be a 
square root of 5, because anything to the 1 half is power is just square root, times x, the x is not in the square root, and then minus the 3 means that we have to just divide all this by 3. A lot of times you will see parentheses around here to know that this log 2 is of all of that, and know that we're not dividing everything by 3 like we were in the original, that it is the log 2 of all this stuff. All right, that's going to do it for this one. Until next time, stay positive. I will see everybody later. Bye.